everybody and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying your weekends i have just turned up at the ponies i've got them in and i think they have now just finished a spot of lunch haven't you girlies uh, but Addie and I are heading off to Chiverton Park for a spot of fun show jumping. I emphasise the word fun because I feel when it is eventing, I do... It means so much to me, I suppose. Let's, yeah, it does mean so much to me. And I probably do end up putting quite a bit of pressure on myself. Now, I'm not... Addie jumped fantastic last weekend, but I know show jumping, I just need to kind of get in there and get jumping some rounds. And today I just feel like there is absolutely zero pressure. It's just to go and have some fun. And it's all raising money today. So the show jumping is being run by Cornwall Trek for a fellow Trekkie in memory of her mum that she sadly lost a few years ago. So it's all for a good cause. We're going to go have some fun, see all fellow, I'm going to say Trekkies, but it won't just be Trekkies because it is open to non-members as well. So lots of familiar faces and just go and have, like I say, just go and have some fun. I'm actually feeling a bit like if we do get into jump off, uh, like giving it a real go and having like just, just go in there and not being like, oh, it's all got to be foot perfect or anything like that. Admittedly, we had a jumping lesson on Friday and... I know that Addie's not a machine, I'm not a machine, but we just didn't have the best of sessions. You know when you just have those off sessions, like don't get me wrong, she jumped everything, we got over everything that we wanted to, but just wasn't quite, I don't know, like gelling together very well on Friday. So that's been put behind us and I'm hoping that we're going to, like I say, go there and have some fun. So they're in, need to just do the usual basically, load up the car, hitch up and all of that and whilst I'm doing that I'm going to pop in a little snippet and explain to you who is today's sponsor of this video. <laughs> Even little Miss Nala gets rather excited for our weekly delivery of HelloFresh. Now I am super excited to be collaborating again with the HelloFresh team for today's video. It is thanks to them. Over the past three years, I have been a customer. I have saved so much time, money, and effort thanks to them, which I've then been able to spend extra time, money, and effort with the ponies because dinner is solved. So if you are sat there not quite knowing what HelloFresh is, it is a meal kit delivery service delivering fresh ingredients already pre-weighed so you don't need to spend any more time in the kitchen weighing out the ingredients it's all done for you and you can make really easy but lush meals at home and it's all written out on a really easy delivery card which I will get out and show in a second but I just love the flexibility of HelloFresh so it is really easy to pause skip your subscription you can change your delivery day if you're not going to maybe you're not going to be in for the first half of the week or something like that skip a week if you're going away on holiday it's really easy to tailor it to yourself as well so you can set your meal preferences we go meat and veggie but you might have calorie smart quick and easy pescatarian or veggie whatever your preference might be you can set it to how many people so obviously it's only chris and i so we set it to two and you can also set to how many meals you want to have arrive each week now we tend to go three or four meals with three this week um, but again we change it up we mix it up uh, and the recipes are always different you've got so many to pick from and if you are tired and bored of eating the same meals Week in, week out, I highly recommend giving HelloFresh a try. And you can do that and save a whole load of money using the discount code 60EMD. That code, which I will pop on screen here for you now, or you can find it down in the description below, along with a link, so whichever's the easiest way, you can get 60% off your first box, then get 25% off the next eight boxes. So... Huge amount of savings, guys. 
and whilst giving something I think you will not regret giving a go. So make sure to use that code. So the meals that we have got coming up this week, starting with a honey and mustard sausage tray bake with roast potatoes and buttery sauce. My mouth is already starting to water. Um, it's not far off dinner time, to be honest with you, but each meal comes with a recipe card like this. It lists out all the ingredients there that you can find in the corresponding bag that is within this box and I'm about to pop over into the fridge. I find that the easiest thing. Put them all in the fridge and then pull it out when you start to cook. And then on the other side has got a step-by-step -step guide on how to make said delicious meal. So we've got that one. We've then got a creamy double mushroom penne, penne pasta with cheese. That also looks very, very yummy. And then we've got herby burgers and wedges with a parsley tomato salad. And then I'm also loving that they've also, in case you have got an air fryer, something that I really do want to get, it's also got here saying that it is an air fryer friendly and it was also the same on the tray bake as well. So reducing the amount of oven time that you need to use. And if you have got an air fryer, there are recipes out there for you now. So as I say, you can give it a go. I will be cooking this very shortly, um, but I will pop a QR code on screen here for you guys. So get your phone out, scan that QR code, and that will take you straight to the HelloFresh website where my code will already be applied. So you can get ordering your first box with 60% off. But I'm gonna pop this into the fridge and I will be back shortly to uh, make one of these delicious meals. Boom, and dinner is served. I'm gonna tuck into this and let you guys carry on with the vlog, see how we get on with show jumping at Chipton Park. But don't forget, if you would like to give HelloFresh a try and cook up a treat like this, we're actually making an effort tonight, aren't we, and sitting at the table. We don't often do this, to be fair. This is like, I actually want to say not relatable, but I do actually really enjoy sitting at the table and talking to you, darling, and seeing how you've gotten on with your day. <laughs> I can't wait to ask a question. I know. <laughs> what do you guys do? We are quite bad at just going in and sitting on the sofa and watching TV, but I feel that when it gets to winter, we actually try to sit at the table more, don't we? Summer, it's almost like we don't have enough time. Damn you. <laughs> Nana wants to join us at the table. But yeah, what do you guys do? Do you sit at the table every night? Do you sit at the sofa? watch TV, what do you guys do? Let me know down in the comments below. But as I was saying, if you would like to give HelloFresh a try, which I can't recommend enough, then don't forget to use my code 60EMD. You can also find the link and the code down below in the description. But we're gonna tuck into this and I'll let you carry on with the vlog and see how we get on at show jumping at Children Park. Mum. 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 Super thankful to HelloFresh to be collaborating again with them. They certainly make my life an awful lot easier and allow me more time and more brain power to spend with the horses and eating super healthy, yummy food. So it's, yeah, a win-win situation there. Now, another reason of wanting to go jumping this weekend is because Lucinda and John, who I have recently had a few lessons with, with John, have lent me a new bit. Now you will all know that earlier this summer I was trialing some different bits trying to find out what worked for her uh, and I kind of settled with what I had and it has been working but I just know that there is something slightly better. So they have suggested this one. This is a trust bit I believe so I don't know how well that is showing it there. Um, just egg butt still on the side, full straight bar, no joints or anything in between and she does seem to be happier, less fussy in it, but when it goes into a competition atmosphere, that is when things slightly change, isn't it? Like, I probably ride differently, even though I'm trying not to, but nerves can sometimes get in a little bit. 
Addie is a lot more keen, a bit more fresh, so we'll be interested to see how she goes in that today. I don't think it's going to be strong enough to go cross country. And I wish I had something that I could perhaps practice it before going out at Bicton. Um, but maybe I just for Bicton and then I can work on that with like the schooling and stuff for next year. So giving it a go for show jumping. We'll see how we go today uh, and I'll report back my thoughts afterwards. We are now at Chiverton Park. We've just been down, said hello to everybody. You've actually met people that I know and that you know as well from when you used to keep your horse yeah. quite a few years ago. Um, That's from the past. Yeah, the lovely Mims. I haven't seen her for ages. She's so lovely. Everybody's so lovely. I love these kind of events. It's so nice seeing so many familiar faces. That's one thing I said to her is that everyone is just so welcoming. Yeah, aren't they? Like yeah. really nice, and they just chat to you, and yeah. yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then we're just getting back to the trailer. So Addy is already all tacked up. I've just walked the course. Had a lovely message from Lucinda that I've just had pop in on my watch to breathe. Don't let her fluster me. And how nice is that? Yeah, one? and to make sure that I do send the round over. Never mind how good, bad, or ugly. And you guys know that I do try and keep things all relatable and yeah share the not so good bits we have had a good run recently to be f to be fair we've had a very good run recently absolutely and if we were going to have a few little little wobbles kinks that is absolutely fine but uh oh hello all right you're a good girl so yeah you're all tacked up. I've got um, my daughters on but I'll be honest guys it's like I've fallen in I've had an argument with like a green marker i have no idea yeah i'm not starting off the cleanest but anyway that's all good they're fine so we'll just tuck up and head down and warm up thought I'd keep it like normal guys I know from previous feedback that you enjoy a voiceover so I thought I would do a little voiceover on both of our rounds so fence number one was like all the way around the arena so just wanting to make sure that she was supple back on her hocks we popped a little circle before coming to fence number one now in my lessons I've really been working on using the whole arena and not cutting corners so that was what I really wanted to put into practice in my rounds and I was pleased with how we've started she jumped lovely over fence one and two a little bit off on that stride there if I'm being really really picky and we did then land on the wrong lead and we definitely need to speed up these canter truck canter transitions but we got it back just in time got over that spread for fence number four and got a nice stride there for that one as well. And I'm really pleased with how she, how her frame is. I feel this bit is really making her uphill and up and off of her shoulders, which, yeah, I'm really liking it. And I did feel like I had good control. Um, again, it was all quite a long way around these courses um, to get to like the next fence, but now we're down to a related distance, which she jumped lovely in. Got a lovely stride over that spread as well. I've just got to be careful there that I'm not like leaning into that corner. Um, and again, we're going all the way back up to the other end of the arena for this double, which I kind of fired her a little bit thinking she was going to take a long one and she didn't, but she was very quick with her feet, bless her. Got them out of the way. And then this is down to the final fence. Then it was going on to the jump off and I had learned it, but you know, when you just need that momentarily like just get your bearings where you're going um thankfully I didn't take too long but I was just trying to remember it and think where 
I need to go. It's like when they just dot out random numbers and then I find that's harder. Whereas if I just learned it as a course, I'd probably be okay. Um, but we come around here for the start of the jump off. Got a lovely stride over that. And here I was just like, I was hoping that she was just going to change because we had quite a long time. But you can see she's disunited, but then she did change behind, which was good. A little bit close to that. And then we've got a bit of a tighter dog leg to get back to number eight eight I believe that is or number seven I can't quite remember now and then all the way down here for this double which we got a better stride in but we were just a bit flat so she did unfortunately take the second part down with her and then coming on to the final fence which was in the last round sorry and then we had to go all the way back up the top to come over fence 12 that we hadn't jumped yet and this was actually quite a bit of a tighter turn than what I was expecting, but we got a lovely stride. So just finishing with the four faults in the jump off. Hey, I've jumped. Yeah. Dear of her. She just, I deserve the, I deserve the double down in the first round because we did not get a good shot. But she was super and keen, been loving it. I was keen for the turns as well, wasn't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, she didn't deserve that pole in the jump off. Do you review that? She was very good. Very, very good. Aww. Aww, thank you very much. <laughs> we like pink, don't we, Addy? <laughs> I don't know what you're like, actually. Yes. Oh, don't look at him. <laughs> <laughs> she can smell him. a quick little warm up over a few fences just putting that upright up a little bit just so that she knew that the fences were going up I did the exact same popped her on a circle there and just trying to make her have a bit more of an energy canter not faster but just a bit more power to it because I think you feel like you need it don't you when you know that the jumps have gone up we got a lovely stride again so the course is exactly the same but the jump off was different now that one there I felt like we had to drift to the left to be able to fit in that final stride so that was not quite the best of jumps but she was good we got over it wasn't a problem we got a much better stride to that than we did in the first round but again we did land on the wrong lead but we were much quicker with our canter trot canter transition so then coming around to this spread again got a lovely stride to that and then she's just fighting with me a little bit she's like I know where we're going mum let me go um but we did manage to speak together well and get over that fence nicely and then here determined not to cut that corner jump that one bang in the middle which was good and then again all the way around the arena for the related distance for seven and eight so i just pushed her on a bit there and then just asked her and now listen please and that was good we got a good stride and again a lovely stride over that spread landing on the right lead as well and then the double determined to get it right this time um not to yeah get the right stride and we did we got it absolutely bang on but it did feel like quite a long one so she just had to stretch a little bit for that second part then coming down to the final fence and then it goes straight into the jump off mode so steve had said there's no time to be learning your course you need to go straight into it and boy did addy go okay i'm happy with that Dear River, she absolutely bombed down that long side. And then here I was like, right, just regain ourselves here, please. Um, and again, got a little bit, maybe a little bit close on that one, but did that well. She responded to this turn as well. And then coming back to fence six. Now, this one was a little bit more of a, I'd say like jump off vibe. It was a bit more twisty turny. Um, so we're coming back over fence 12, which was the added one in for the jump off. I feel like I feel like we were a little bit lucky over that one, but I'm not going to knock it. And then coming into the double, she took a flyer in, but then still managed to make that one stride. And then coming down to this, I was like, I can't see a stride, but Addy saw it and popped over it. So yeah, really, really chuffed with 
how she just jumped and flew around, bless her. Even Becky's just said, because Becky was around in the early Sprite days and has just said oh she's like Sprite, Sprite reincarnated. Back from the Will Buller days, wasn't it? Oh my god, that feels like a lifetime ago. I was. know, it's mental, isn't it? What was we, about eight or nine? 20 years ago that I started going there. Oh, so, well, yeah, 20 years, okay, right, now we do okay. now we feel old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely are Sprite, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you really aren't bothered about my wheelchair. You're a good girl, don't bite my feet. You're a winner. Winner, winner. Winner, winner. Hey. I think going last time. Do you want to hand out Rosette? Should I do it? More pressure. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Hello now. Thank you. I, uh, oh, is this on? How do I say it? Oh, there we go. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say a, I'm going to try and do this without crying, a huge thank you to every single person who has entered, supported, come and watched. Um, this means an absolute massive deal to me. We have raised a fantastic amount of money for the charity, uh, Defence Medical Welfare Services. A huge thank you to all of my fellow Trekkies on the committee, Steve, Sophie, every single person who's given up their time, Rachel and Tilly who are up on the banks for making a ridiculous amount of cakes. Uh, they went down an absolute treat. Um, yeah, Lauren ate most of them to be fair. Um, yeah, massive thank you to everyone. Thank you. Oh, I got through that! <laughs> And a big thank you to you too as well, Eloise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I won't have because then no, I make some of these Someone hugged me earlier and I cried and I held it down. Can <laughs> you get one in a minute? <laughs> you get yellow this time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how nice is it that we finished out there about half an hour ago and we're home already, horses are eating their dinner and yeah, we're back. After I said that I wanted to go there and have fun at the very beginning of this vlog and I certainly think we have fun, didn't we? Yes! I mean, it's always nice when she goes double clear, I can't lie, but no, she was epic and I don't think I had actually maybe portrayed at the beginning how worried I was about her with being a little bit out of character, should I say, on Friday. I've definitely my lesson. so quiet. So quiet. You were so quiet when I arrived. I was like, what's wrong? You were like, nothing. I'm like, okay. okay. No. <laughs> it's, I'm more just worried about her. You don't know. It could be just a phase that she's going through or... I don't know. I've, I'm just worried that she's in pain or something. That's my problem. I worry that I'm pushing her to do yeah, something sure. and she's saying pain and it is really hard. But I have spoken to Lauren. She was there as well and she's going to come out tomorrow morning. Even though she went like cracking today I really yeah she was awesome can't complain at all but I think I just need this little thought out of my head and make sure everything is all okay especially as we have got our final event at Bicton in two weeks time two weeks time yeah and I just need that thought gone out of my head so I'm not if she goes and has like another moment or mishap like that in training again at least I can know confidently yeah. that there isn't anything definitely been pain muscular wise that or anything better get yeah. it checked out exactly so gonna get that checked tomorrow but she was so good she was so game i mean you were so game in the 90 to be honest i think she was like oh we're doing turns um which we i suppose haven't really done an awful lot of them have we no but we have done one little like competitiveness thing like that oh hello um i started you under your chin and now you're like i can't get to it <laughs> is that nice are you itchy Oh, you clever girl. And then in the 100, I just felt like she went in there and she was like even more like, yep, I know what's happening. Um, and Steve made it really funny by saying that 
you need to start your jump off straight from as if it is well it is single phase so jump over that number 10 and then get round to start your jump off as quick as possible so that was quite fun um i basically just learned it to be like 1 to 15 or whatever it was instead of thinking that it's 7 8 6 um but she was good, loved it, really enjoyed it. Lovely to see so many familiar faces. Louise did a really sweet little little speech there at the end and they have raised lots of money, which is absolutely fantastic for her chosen charity. So it was nice to know that we've been part of that. We've also had fun at Chiverton Park, which I do now think that this will be our final time of us being there. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's been a great day. Hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us and i hope that i have kept this short and sweet please as always give it a like if you do what turn in my jump off did you think was the best that's what i'm intrigued to know there was some like real twisty ones there in the second class so let me know which one you thought Addy did the best turn and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already again a huge thank you to hellofresh for sponsoring this video and until next time guys i will see you all very very soon bye Everybody saying bye. Thanks to you too for coming along. You're Super welcome. groom. <laughs> Super groom. Yeah. See you all soon.